this is a weird thing because the, the way Shaolin Monk de depicts events of MK2 doesn't don't seem to be canon. They still include elements from it. I love Scorpion's design in this game. It's just perfect. There's a female chameleon and smoke and smoke. I know it is you, Kung Lao. The Shaolin monks chose Liu Kang to represent your order in this tournament. You think you think this would be a costume for Kung Lao in the game that you can unlock, but you can't. Watch and see. I accept the challenge. Kung Lao. Yep, he just walks up there. Never mind the Lin Kuei. Where was he holding the hat? Now you face a Shaolin. Even though Raiden's vision showed. Yeah, Raiden's vision showed Kung Lao's other outfit, not this, his primary outfit, not this one. And that's another weird thing that this game has, it's, it keeps making this mistake with Kung Lao's costumes and mixing them up. I'm trying to remember how to do the spear. Because it's, it's kind of a thing where this game actually changed the controls for how, some of, how they do some of these moves. Damn it. Uh, yeah, uh, they changed the, the inputs, like Liu Kang especially. Like, it's, it's back, back. It used to be back, forward. And Liu Kang special movies were always designed to be the easy one, like forward, forward, button. But now it's like down, forward, button, all complex shit. I don't know why. I, I love that. Move. Also, I, I have to give uh, props to uh, Patrick Seitz. For his performance as um, Scorpion Round in this game, because he's fucking good. Of course, he, he don't do the get over here. It's always been Ed Boon, except in the cartoon and TV show. Well, yeah, like any any series of MK doesn't have Ed Boon do the, doing the voice. The cartoon was the worst. We were going get over here. It sounds so lame. Why isn't the why isn't Hellfire working? Score Take that! Wins. I win. Flawless victory. You are not yet a warrior. So good, mate. I, I just punched him. In the, punched him. In, I punched him in the leg, and he died. Listen, when your elders speak, you could not win this fight. And he's, he's never. And see, Shang Tsung doesn't prompt anyone to kill I anyone ever again. I demand Sub Zero. And Rain's like, oh my god, Sub Zero dies. Is that even the same mask Sub Zero was? You will it might be, but I'm not sure. Nightwolf. And it's funny because it depicts Scorpion as having decapitated Sub Zero, but he didn't. He set him on what fire. You know of my You're not the only one whose people have been victimized. And Nightwolf's presence here is just bizarre because he's, he's, found new purpose in serving the spirit. He's not around in the MK2 section. I do not cling to the past. You no longer seek retribution. You dishonor your kind. I will honor the memory of my fallen. And like Nightwolf is Round the casting choice fight. for Nightwolf was bizarre because for whatever reason they decided to to they, they cast this um this uh, guy of Native American descent like they, they, uh, this, uh, to play Nightwolf and it's like I mean, I, I, guess, I guess I can understand why I get the right like, tone, inflection and accent and all that but the guy's a comedian he, play, he just plays like super serious Nightwolf I mean and here's the thing I'm thinking they could have waited until MK2011 I mean MKX and like just cast like made like and got made another character like Nightwolf's uh brother or someone else from his uh, tribe, I guess you'd call it. I don't know what, 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 if that's a, the proper term for it. But yeah, um, they didn't do anything like that. They could have done that, but they didn't. I don't understand why. Because you think if you're going to cast a comedian, you'd give a more comedic role. Now maybe, maybe there's something more to it, I don't know. And maybe that comedian is like, you know, I really like the character of Nightwolf. I'd, I'd like to audition for the role. And uh, you mentioned like in Nightwolf and they're like, no, we should get him in to play him. Maybe something like that happened. I don't know. I mean, if that's the case, I mean, fair enough. But it's just odd that you like, you wouldn't give him a character that where he could really put his skills to proper use. Uh. 
Take this. And this. Get back here. Stop doing that. I love that throw. Even though it should kill him. Because he went through his head. And I hate Quan Chi being here. Restraint, Fuck off, Quan Chi. I don't like you. I hate you. I want you to die. Get the fuck out. You will fight Sub -Zero soon enough. Because there's this whole thing, but he was a, a small part of Scorpion Sub Zero's backstory back in the day. Just a small bit. And I was like the central focus of it. It's all about him now. And he, he's trying to turn into Ocelot, Revolver Ocelot, but, but it just failed. Right. There are other ways in which you may find peace. I like this bit though. Sub Zero deserves death. Defeat Sub Zero if you must, but do not kill him. I fear his death will give rise to a more treacherous foe. I will have my revenge. Spare Sub Zero's life, and I will request that the Elder Gods return the Shirai Ryu to the realm of mortals. See, this is cool. It's like, what does Scorpion want more? Revenge or his, his, his clan back? There's no mention of his family, but it's not really clear if, if they have, they're maintaining this, that, that, if they're going with like a retcon that he does remember his family, because that was supposed to be the price he paid to go back. He has to forget his family. I love how I love how Kano's cha chatting up Kitana and Jade. His plan, but his plan goes against Lin Kuei principles. We are Lin Kuei, Cyrax. We will obey the Grand Master's commands. It means giving up our free will. Scorpion's our like, fuck you guys. Scorpion. Your inferior clan is dead. Soon you will join them. My clan may walk the earth. It's funny because when, when these two were shown in human form in the cartoon. Scorpion. In, in the cartoons, Sector was the black one. Ends here. Round one. See, I like that they put the human forms in. I really, I really like Sarek's human form. It's just a shame that, that it, they just it don't really do much much with it. It's also kind of funny because I'm pretty sure the idea that the, the uh, Shirai Ryu is this, as they pronounce it in, in the series. God, that Shang Tsung mod looks awful. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the. Uh, the Shirai Ryu are all supposed, all supposed to wear the black and yellow. Like Scorpion does. So Cyrax of, of the rival clan, the Lin Kuei, does it? Oh god, forgot about Sector and his teleport bullshit. Wait, do, do they share a super gauge? Oh, that's an important detail to check. To check. You bastard! Of course they do share a gauge, but that absolute bell end. He's like, I'm gonna get you, because I'm Sector. And then he just blocks my teleport move. Oh shit. Now we we'll see where it got hard, because Sector is just teleporting everywhere. Die, Cyrax. He's not dead! How did that not kill him? Wait, he did kill him? What the fuck is happening? I thought I didn't kill Cy Cyrax, but I did? Or did he just go off screen and slit his own wrists? MK is kind of unique as a, a uh, fighting game because it actually has a block button. I think that and Soul Card are the only ones to do that. Normally it's just like hold back. This is not fair. Well, at least he uses Breaker, which used some of the gauge so he can't X-ray me. But yeah, I like Scorpion's story, but the idea is that he has, to, he has to choose what's more important to him. It's just, I feel like if, if instead of picking a, having one character for a story chapter, they'd gone with a, a more natural approach and just jump between various characters, I feel like it would have just worked better. Now, how do you do enhanced moves? Ah, so you, ho you hold R2 with it. Push just picked a better move to use it, to use it for it. Fuck. Damn it! Motherfucker! Oh, it's only one round. It's still got a shot. But you got way more super. 
See, I, see, this, this is what I meant when I say about getting hard. I, I guess I won't be changing difficulty after all, because one opponent... Maybe it's just because the early opponents are just really shit. Damn it. Biggins! Biggins! It's also kind of funny when you look at Shang Tsung's MK1 outfit. That they keep changing it. Originally it was uh, blue. Then they changed it to purple for Shaolin Monk, and here it's red. So basically, this plus MK1 is Shaolin Monk's. Shit. Yes! Did I just hit him in the nuts? I think I hit him in the nuts. Scorpion is one of the best sexy movies. One of the few where I look at and I think, yeah, I can just watch that all day. Take that! I love that how you can block an I can block an attack to, to that come down the top of your head by blocking in front of your face. But I lost. Round one. Fight. What the fuck? That's not fair. What the fuck? No! See, this is the thing, like, like, there's some characters that should never be put, be put in a tag match against the player if the player's not got a tag partner. Scepter's one of them. And then you got, like, Goro and Kintaro. And they do get used in tag matches. But, like, why can't I have Quan Chi helping me? Because co as, as, of, as of MK vs. DCU in this game, Scorpion works for Quan Chi. You know, that wasn't a thing. It just worked, with, worked for Quan Chi and Shin at once because he'd been tricked. Not because Quan Chi was his, his spectral master. Or some retarded fucking bullshit. Yeah, I'm getting cheap here. I'm just mash, just gonna mash the fucker to death. Yeah, use your, yeah, use your super gauge for a breaker, you fucker. Wins. It's one, one way of, of uh, stopping him from doing it, isn't it? Dickhead! Fucking finish him, Scorpion! Mm. He did it. Oh, a tag swap, I see. And throw him in there. No, now I can just keep. I can just keep hitting it. One thing that would have been cool to add for this game. Would have been the, uh, the thing that Injustice has, where you have like uh, multiple environments that at each each stage has multiple areas to fight in. It would be funny if the bomb had still hit me though. I will have my revenge, but I will not kill yeah, you tell him, Scorp. I love the banter between Scorp and Sub Zero. It's a bit bit standard, but it is good. And Quan Chi's like, I have my tattoos. <laughs> you know, no one calls it hell anywhere else in the series. The Nether you know, even a pleb like Johnny Cage. See the funny thing about this, that Scorpion apparently has the power to take Round people to other realms. Fight. What's with the Cerberus in the background? See, that could have made for a pretty cool uh, stage fatality instead of just sticking their face into lava. And don't get me wrong, sticking his own face in lava is a pretty, pretty metal uh, move, you know? Oh, what the fuck? You're jumping. You're fucking jumping. You can't do that. I do I do like the, the uh, thing they added this time with Deadly Lines where Scorpion, but being more sub zeros rather, can uh, make ice swords. Even though it should probably melt, like, immediately upon being impaled into someone. Especially someone like Scorpion. Or Blaze. You know, fucking hell, he, he, can stick, he can stick into Blaze in Deadly Lines, impale him, and he'll stay there for the rest of the round, and it's like... Blaze is made of fire. His blood is lava. Haha! <laughs> Just a weak little kick, but it did the job. Fight. Fight! No! Oh! You motherfucker! This is another good one. Mainly just for the headbutt. But it's one of those things where it's like, you just basically just, you know, you basically fracture my skull horrendously. But I'm gonna keep fighting. What? What? 
Wait, I, wait, wait, what? No, 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 you can't, you, no. You can't freeze someone and then freeze them again immediately. That's supposed to reverse the freeze onto you. That, that's a time-honored NK tradition. You can't just change that out of nowhere. Because then the player can just keep the opponent frozen for as long as they want. What the fuck? I didn't know that. What the fuck is that shit? It's absolute bollocks is what it is. But well, fuck you, Sub-Zero, you piece of shit. No. And even does damage when you do that. That's, that's fucking bullshit. I mean, unless he's only on the third hit. So that's just bullshit as well. I have avenged my family and clan. Yep. Done. Avenged. Nothing else to it. This is your retribution. Scorpion. Kill him. Yes, Scorpion. Kill him, but don't. I, I will not. He has been beaten. Have you forgotten? See, this is kind of an interesting interesting one because you kind of imagine that this, that this is how Quan Chi tricked Scorpion in the original timeline, around MK4. So it's kind of an interesting idea that he uses this gambit earlier. No. But it's all just drawn. But you know, I will give the games one thing, that like they didn't retcon Quan Chi to be the one who killed Scorpion in the first place, like MK Legacy did. Because that was bullshit, that was complete bollocks. It was like, oh, uh, Quan Chi poses Sub-Zero and killed Scorpion. It's like, no, no, you can't, you, you can't do that. That's fucking bullshit. And it's like, ha, I am Sub-Zero. And it's like, that's not even what Sub-Zero was. That's what his brother was. Your clan. Family. It's also a weird thing that both Sub Zeros have been named, but they don't have a shared family name, even though they are like definitively full brothers. Neither is adopted or anything. I don't know why Sub Zero would need a, a normal sword when he just make one out of ice in, in a second. They actually adding a female Scorpion, a female Sub-Zero into MKXL. No! I think it could have been interesting if the female Scorpion was actually instead Scorpion's undead wife. Not me. Now here's another scene I actually like. There's not many, but here's one. Yep. Ouch. I, I love the, the tattoo on Johnny's chest, though. And see, see, I have to give a lot of props to the facial animators for Scorpion, because all they have to work with is his eyes, and they really show, like, they, they, they really show just how much Scorpion knew he'd fucked up. It's just the agony he feels. Despite my efforts, my vision has come to and, and Sector just fucks off. An unfortunate end. He once defended Earthrealm from the Nether Realm armies of Shinnok and Quan Chi. Yep. MK Mythologies is indeed still canon. Is his own doing. His own doing. The Lin Kuei have a history of making ruinous choices. Well, yeah, if you go on the cyber initiative. Raiden hasn't had a vision of the Cyber Initiative. He didn't get one, so I am among those how does he know? Against the Grandmaster's plan, surgically transform the Lin Kuei into. Glorified robots. It kills our intuition, our instincts. Did you speak out against the Lin Kuei? It doesn't make sense. In this tournament, we were invited by Shang Tsung. He pays you to because kill the Earthrealm warriors. They already Train established with Bo Rai Cho and Deadly Alliance. Even from an assassin, my loyalty. They established this already that if you the enter the tournament means the end of and you're from one of the, com uh, the uh, competing realms. You fight for that realm. You don't have a choice. Borai chose from Outworld, and that's why he never entered the tournaments before. And so, if the, the Link Way from Earthrealm are fighting the tournament, how can they fight for Outworld? 